Hey, what's up guys? As always, it's your favorite gaming channel, Sajid, back with another video. And today we are going to be talking about some of the most controversial and extreme games that were either cancelled or banned. These games pushed the limits of what was acceptable and faced heavy backslash and criticism. So get ready, buckle up and let's dive into the video. Real Kill Real Kill was a fighting game developed by Paradox Development and was said to be published by Virgin Interactive. However, just weeks before its release, the game was cancelled due to its extreme violence and sexual content. The game featured 8 characters, each an insane killer, with their unique and brutal finishing moves. Players had to be battling deadly arena until only one character was left standing. The game's violence and sexual content were deemed too extreme and it was never released. Manhunt 2 Manhunt 2 was developed by Rockstar Games, known for their controversial Grand Theft Auto series. The game was banned in several countries and was even rated adults only in the United States. In the game, players took on the role of a mental patient who escaped from a facility and had to use various weapons to kill their enemies. The game featured graphic violence and the use of weapons was gruesome, which resulted in the game's ban. Postal 2 Postal 2 is an open world game developed by Running with Scissors. The game features extreme violence, gore, and drug use. Players take on the role of a man who goes on a killing spree and can use various weapons such as guns, flamethrowers and even a cat as a silencer. The game was so controversial that it was banned in several countries and was even criticized by politicians. Grand Theft Auto The first installment of the Grand Theft Auto series was banned in several countries. The game allowed players to steal cars commit various crimes and kill innocent civilians. The game's open-world gameplay, which allowed players to commit heinous crimes, was the reason for its ban in several countries. Carmageddon Carmageddon was a racing game developed by Stainless Games. The game featured extreme violence and gore where players could run over pedestrians and animals to earn points. The game was banned in several countries including the UK and Germany. The game's use of violence was deemed too graphic leading to its ban. Six Days in Fallujah Six Days in Fallujah was a third-person shooter developed by Atomic Games. The game was meant to be based on real-life events that occurred during the Iraq war. However, the game was cancelled due to its controversial subject matter and the fact that it was still fresh in the people's mind. The game's announcement led to controversy which ultimately led to its cancellation. The game's storyline and subject matter were deemed too sensitive, leading to its controversy and cancellation. BMXXXX BMXXXX was developed by z -Axis and was meant to be a racing game featuring BMX bikes. However, the game was heavily criticized for its inclusion of nudity and sexual content. The game allowed players to earn money by performing tricks and stunts, which could then be used to unlock videos of real-life strippers. The game's content was deemed too explicit, leading to its ban in several countries and the removal of its rating in the United States. Hatred of Islam The game was developed by a right-wing extremist group and was meant to be a first-person shooter that involved killing Muslims. The game's announcement was met with widespread condemnation and it was eventually cancelled due to public pressure and outrage. The game's content and message were deemed too hateful and discriminatory, leading to its controversy and cancellation. 25 to Life 25 to Life was developed by Avalanche Software and was a third-person shooter game that allowed players to play as both criminals and law enforcement officers. The game was heavily criticized for its glorification of gun culture and its use of extreme violence. 
The game's content was deemed too violent and controversial, leading to its ban. Hatred Hatred was developed by Destructive Creations and was a top-down shooter game that allowed players to take on the role of mass shooter who goes on a killing spree. The game was criticized for its graphic violence, which including killing innocent civilians. Game was initially removed from Steam, but it was later reinstated due to controversy surrounding the game. And that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Also, let me know in the comments which of the games you were aware of and if you think they should have been allowed to be released. Until next time, this is Sajid signing off.